Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. This is clutch number six for me. It's another Het Lavender clutch. The pairing was Pastel Het Lavender to Firefly Het Lavender. Uh, this is the same male that I used for the previous Lavender clutch and the female's sister. And we got twins. So let's take a look. So here we are guys on day 60 and uh, two of the eggs have pipped but you'll notice that we have twins in this egg. You've got two heads uh, sticking out of the same egg. So there are twins in this egg. Uh, the heads do look normal size. Um, this is not an unusual event in ball pythons. There's two ways that this can happen. Uh, the first way is that you have one embryo that splits very early in cell division into two individuals which are identical and in this case the head stamps and the snakes themselves do look identical. These are identical twins so probably a single embryo that split during development. The other way that this can happen is for two separate embryos to be encapsulated in one egg and in that case uh, the embryos are fertilized independently and the snakes are not necessarily identical. You can have two different snakes in the same egg. So these look to me like identical twins. They have pipped by themselves and uh, each of them did cut its own slit to come out of, although they're both poking their heads now out of uh, what looks like one combined hole. Uh, but they both have egg tooths. They both are working completely independently and they'll come out of the egg independently and we'll have two uh, completely independent identical twin snakes from this one egg. Uh, they probably are a little bit smaller than they normally would be. A uh, normal size hatchling is about 75-80 grams so these guys are going to be uh, somewhat less than that. Uh, one of them may be bigger than the other, that's also quite normal when you have twins. Uh, one of them gets the lion's share of the resources in the egg and the other one is a little bit smaller but um, we'll wait and see when they come out as long as they start eating uh, they should be perfectly fine so we'll get a better look at these two twins when they do come out of the egg uh, you can see the egg to the left of them here has also pipped and I can see a lighter coloured snake in there uh, but it is not a visual lavender we still have six eggs to uh, pip or hatch so I'll leave them a little bit longer in the incubator and we'll see what pops out but there we go that's twins awesome Okay, so you can see that uh, some of these others have started to pip, so we'll help these guys out a little bit. Uh, you can see one of the twins is already out, and the other one is well on his way, so we'll leave that one. This one's almost out. So let's cut the others and see what we've got. Take this egg here, just zoom in a little bit for you. This one has already pipped, so let's open it up. Okay, not a visual, that looks like a Pastel. Let's take a look at this one. This one's already pipped as well. This is also not a visual lavender. There we go. Pastel. Where are the lavenders in this clutch? Let's take a look at this guy. Come on Lavenders, four cut, four to go. Oh, 
Also not a lavender, like this egg. No, no lavender. This is not looking good guys. Two eggs to go. It's a nice big egg. No lavender. Oh my goodness. Last egg. And also not a lavender. So the male is proven to be het. The first female was het. And we've got no visual lavenders in this one. So it looks like this female may actually not be a het. So we'll put those back in the incubator. So we do have one more here. Okay, it's time to get these guys set up in their shedding tub and have a look and see what we have and just off the bat here I want to show you the difference in size between the two twins here uh, these little guys and a normal sized hatchling here uh, so these two little guys here they are identical twins perfectly formed perfectly healthy just half the size of a normal sized baby so these will take some watching provided that they shed out okay and start eating uh, they should be fine so those are the two twins. Compared to a normal sized hatchling. Uh, so these two twins are normals. This bright little guy here is a fire. This lovely coloured little thing here is a super pastel. And there's a few more still to come out of the egg so we'll set those up when they eventually come out but this is another, this is pastel, I don't think it's super, uh, we don't have the same amount of blushing and the head's a little bit dark, this is another pastel over here by the looks of it. Uh, not sure, that one looks like a fire or a normal and this one is another mm, firefly by the looks of that one. So let's take a look at the whole of this clutch. Now they're all out and I can tell you straight off the bat that we got no visual lavenders in this clutch. But um, uh, we did get some very pretty looking snakes. There is one still in the egg, looks like a pastel, uh, very late out of the egg, still absorbing the yolk. I have checked it, uh, the yolk is still soft, uh, the umbilical is not twisted. Uh, so we'll just leave this guy in the incubator for a little while longer. He seems to be a little bit behind his clutch mates. Uh, but I want him to absorb all the yolk and come out of the egg by himself. So we'll just stick that one back in the incubator for now. So we're short of one snake. Okay, so again, what we need to do... ...is to look at all of these guys side by side. And we can start off with the two twins. 
the tiny guys, these are two normals. Look how tiny they are guys, I can fit both of them easily into the palm of my hand. Let me just get a weight on those for you guys. Okay, so both of these weigh 30 grams each. And there is one more normal in here, in the clutch. This is another normal possible het for lavender. Now this is a normal sized one. And this guy weighs 62 grams, so yes, they are exactly half the size of the other babies. So we have three normals there. Pos het for lavender. So here's the normal and here's the fire. This is fire by itself. And so we have one fire as well. And then if we look at the four remaining snakes we have two quite orange ones which are single pastel and two very light coloured ones which are super pastel. We'll have to wait for them to shed out before we confirm that but here are the two single pastels nice and orange coloured with typical pastel head Here's the other one, typical pastel pos het for lavender. And then we have the two super pastels, which are very, very light coloured. You see the head stamp is very blushed on both of these guys. So these are two super pastels. Let's just compare the pastel to the super so you can see the difference you see the difference you see the difference in the head stamp and the difference in the color and also the patterns a little more reduced on the super So here we are, all together, we've got the two runts down here, we have another normal here, we have a fire here, we have the two super pastels, the very light coloured ones here, and two pastels. All of which are possible het for lavender, we didn't manage to prove out the mother, there are no visuals in this clutch, uh, so the mother may not actually be het for lavender, uh, but the father proved out in the first clutch. So why don't we compare some of these to what, to what we actually got in the first clutch. So here is fire and fire. This is fire from the first clutch. This is fire not yet shed. Uh, but I think you can see the similarity there. Let's have a look at the head stamp. You can see the head stamps on these two guys. Very, very similar. These are the same snake, this one not shed, this one has shed. And here is a super pastel from the first clutch compared to the super pastel here from the second clutch. There are two of these. Here is the other super and again if you look at the head stamps, very similar head stamps. And let's just see if we can convince ourselves of the difference between pastel, super pastel and firefly. I don't actually have a firefly from this clutch to show you, so we're going to have to use a previous clutch. Because it isn't actually straightforward, we'll have a better idea after shed. Typically what fire does is to reduce the pattern particularly at the rear of the snake down here and add this little stripe and on this version here the stripe 
there is some pattern reduction but the stripe is not so clear so the first clutch was actually a little easier to differentiate this is the firefly this nice bright one on the right with the slightly darker head stamp and this is the super pastel on the left with the lighter colored head stamp and not quite so bright but actually a very distinctive pattern now if you compare the two head stamps not only is there a difference in color the super pastel has indents just behind the eyes here there are indents which the firefly does not have the firefly has an arrow head and the super pastel has the indents here behind the eyes so there is a difference in both color and pattern if I can get these guys to stay still so this is firefly the nice bright yellow one and this is super pastel with the extreme blushing on the dorsal so are these super pastels actually fireflies if you look at the head stamps between the firefly and the super pastel this one has the indents typical of super pastel rather than the firefly which is now getting very flighty and there is also quite a difference in the pattern so if I can get the super pastel you see this the the head stamp the indents behind the eyes here and here are exactly the same on the super pastel and the blushing on the dorsal is exactly the same so until they shed I'm not 100% certain but I think we're looking at super pastel and not firefly here and that's the super pastel from clutch number one so we'll do that comparison again after the shed and if we compare the pastel to the super pastel this is the super pastel from clutch one this is just a pastel you'll see that the head stamp is uh, nowhere near as white or as blushed so this is super pastel from clutch one and pastel from clutch two pre-shed uh, so we'll take a look at these guys again after they've shed so that you can see how the colors develop obviously the colors after they shed is very very different so before we go let's get another look at the two twins these tiny 30 gram snakes but they are perfectly formed no deformities perfectly healthy and they're both around the same size at 30 grams both around half the size of a normal hatchling as you would expect from twins so there we go guys